Okay, so I'm going to go over foam rolling here today. Um, technique called self-myofascial release. This is a foam roller right here, but you can use a lot of different things. If you're in a gym, a hard med ball often works and uh, give you a little less surface area on the foam roller. Tennis ball, golf ball, baseball. You can also, you know, as I'm going to get on top of the roller, but you can also use the roller on top of a muscle. Um, uh, you know, you get a rolling pin. That works too as well. And we're going to show a couple key areas you can foam roll, but really all kinds of areas in the body. What you're feeling for is tenderness. This tenderness is a myofascial adhesion. We're getting on the foam roller, doing this self-massage to break down these adhesions, cause from overuse, underuse, uh, injuries, uh, other muscular imbalances. We break them down to get the tissue feeling better and also increase mobility overall, which is one of the most important components of fitness. So a couple key spots. On the upper body, you hit your lats right here, right on the side of your back, of your body. Uh, if your arm rotates under, you hit your shoulders, your delts right here, you get on it. You can keep more weight on your legs or more weight on the foam roller, depending on your liking. Get your chest right here, between the shoulder blades, right on our lower body. Certainly hamstrings, right, calf, wherever, wherever, whenever I'm hitting any of these areas, rotations on that toe change exactly what part of the muscle I'm hitting. You might notice a little tighter on certain areas versus others. Same thing when I roll the thigh, this quad, maybe it's more of the vastus medialis that's tight, up high in the quad, right, this femoris. All kinds of different areas. Again, explore on there, see what's tender. We're going to go over rolling for the IT band complex, which includes not only the IT band, but also several muscles that lead into that. So, and I like this one a little bit better. It's got a little less surface area. So we're gonna sit on that med ball, cross our leg over, balance on our hand, and right up high, right under this bony notch, a muscle called the piriformis, and roll that. You'll know you're there because you hit a tender spot, don't roll bone. Then we wanna, again, Spend about 20 to 30 seconds on an area as you then rotate through some other areas. So I can lengthen my leg out and step over, right? And then hit the glute medius right here, get under the hip bone. Uh, not rolling bone, rolling tissue right off on the side. Continue to rotate to the front. Right under this hip bone on the front, TFL, right? Well, that's another commonly tight area. The IT band resides along the outside of the thigh. Right, can you go right past the knee? Okay, but again, those are just a few areas. You get on a foam roller, it's a great thing to have around the house. Uh, kind of explore around, uh, check it out. You know, if you feel some pain, this can help alleviate that pain, especially if it's one of those overuse injuries. Uh, sometimes you're not going to be rolling right where the pain is, but surrounding area.